Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to Cat's Kitchen. I'm going to show you how to prepare a good turkey and a Christmas meal. So I'm just simply going to show you how I make my turkey and how my Christmas is prepared and served. But before I do that, I'm going to ask you all to make extra effort to make your Christmas meal extra special because we know that we all have gone through a very difficult year and it's been like unexpected pandemic, people have been suffering and we don't even know what kind of Christmas we're going to have. But however Christmas ends up, we are all going to make a good effort and make it very, very special. So let me show you how I do my Christmas. So this is a turkey, which has been chilling out in this bath. Um, to make this bath for the turkey, I have placed 200 ml of orange juice, two tangerines, a lemon, 100 ml of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Then I have some cinnamons, cloves, and there are star leaves somewhere swimming about. And then I have some fresh bay leaves from the garden. And this has been soaking overnight. Um, so I have been turning it around every few hours. Well, most of the night it stayed on its back. So yes, yeah, so it's taken up the Christmas flavors from the fruits and the spices. So now I'm going to dry it by simply putting it on the towel. After we've done that, then we will marinate in beautiful herbs and butter. And then we will cook it for, it's normally 25 minutes for every kg and then you give another half an hour to 25 minutes just to make it brown so i have purposely bought a very small turkey i guess you guys will have to have a very big turkey for the whole family if we are allowed to have them so i have a so we just give it a quick dry take out all the water we can so that it's easy for me to rub all the marinade so if we treat this turkey with a bit of love a couple of times i have made crown and you can do the same thing with turkey crown which is better actually because then you don't have to worry about legs and wings but some people like full turkey so it's entirely up to you what you make full turkey or crown you will get same results Okay, now this turkey is nice and dry. We will get rid of this bath. You can see what's in there. You have all the spices swimming around and it's orange juice, water, salt, tangerines and lemons, cinnamon, star anise. So that just gives it a kind of like Christmas flavors. So our turkey has been bathed and dried. And now I'm going to make some butter to rub the turkey with, with some herbs and um, three chicken cubes. So they will give flavor and they will also add as a salt. So we have a quarter slab of butter, two small onions, some sage, a little bit of thyme and very, very small amount of rosemary because we don't want to taste woody. Uh, some people like a lot of rosemary, but I don't. So I've got a very tiny amount, a tiny amount of thyme and uh, lots of sage. Sage and turkey go very well with onion. So I'm going to blend them all with the butter and then when it comes out, we'll rub it all over the turkey and then I will show you how to make stuffing to stuff this turkey. And then also we can use some stuffing after I will show you to um, make a stuffing bowl. So our butter for turkey is all ready. Now in the same blender, we were going to make some stuffing for our turkey to stuff that in. So all we're doing here is making our own mince. So to make our sausage meat, I need some garlic, a little bit of this onion and two to three cloves of garlic. So our pork, diced pork has been minced for sausage. To that I'm adding some breadcrumbs which I made earlier with parsley and thyme and some sourdough bread. So it's only half a loaf. And I'm just going to add them to the sausage meat. Okay, so sausage meat is done, our stuffing is done. We use quarter of sourdough bread blended with parsley and sage and a little bit of thyme. Then to that I'm going to add half a teaspoon of ground pepper, one teaspoon of salt, a little less than one. So this sausage meat, we're going to use it to fill the cavity and from the neck and then we're going to butter the turkey with this mixture of medallia and then we are going to bake it for is 3.5 kg turkey 
so it needs to be cooked for 2 hours 25 minutes and then um, we're going to put some bacon on top to save this turkey from burning and then last 25 minutes we will remove the bacon and brown it so our sausage meat is ready you can use it to stuff the turkey and also you can get yourself some sheet already rolled puff pastry and you can make your own sausage roll that would be absolutely fantastic so i'm going to just stuff the turkey now and i'm going to throw some herb inside the turkey so when it's cooking it will flavor it and on top of that i will use this meat and then lift this skin there we go and then wrap the skin right under once it's been stuffed so now i'll set this little baby here and then every half an hour you need to baste this simply by lifting the juices of this turkey and pouring them back onto turkey so it doesn't matter if it's not covering everything because when you baste it it will come back the main thing is to cover the breast so that it's not dry once it's cooked so we have here honey cured streaky bacon i'm trying to flatten it by pressing it with a knife then I will cut it in half then we will start to cover it so by flattening it it gets thinner and it covers everything and now our oven has been heating to full 220c but i'm going to put the turkey in for about 10 minutes on a full heat and let the butter melt and then we're going to bring it down to 200 and then we will cook it for an hour on 200 and then bring it down to 170 for one more hour and then after that we will remove the bacon and let the turkey go uh, brown up so in total don't forget it's a small turkey here we have it this turkey is ready to go in the oven and this is 3.5 kg turkey i'm going to cook it for two hours and 25 minutes two hour, after two hours we'll remove the bacon and every half an hour we will baste it and just to get the juices back into turkey um, so you decide how big your turkey is going to be and then every kg needs about 40 minutes and then just work it out from that how many kilo your turkey will be so this is 3 kg 3.5 i'm cooking it for 2 hours and 25 minutes so our turkey is in the oven roasting beautifully in the meantime while the turkey cooks we have some time to our hands so I'm going to make some really nice stuffing. So we kept some of the sausage meat we made earlier with uh, diced pork, some bread, some butter, some onion and a bunch of herbs. So now I'm going to make some stuffing. For that I'm going to fry one medium onion with two big cloves of garlic. So we're going to saute this with butter. Not the butter goes in there. So everything I show you for Christmas is going to be loaded with calories. Cream, butter, all sorts of things, you name it. So we're going to saute these um, until they're soft. Then add some black pepper, freshly ground and some salt. Then we'll mix some, there's two bags of watercress which are washed and diced. So that will go in there. And then we have 80 grams of dry apricot, so they will go in there as well. And then we have some breadcrumbs. We will mix those when we mix the sausage meat. So that will be our stuffing. So I'll just try and put half a teaspoon of salt because we already have some salt in the sausage meat. So we literally need it to saute them. You don't need to overcook them, brown them or anything. So now. vegetarian stuffing this is it you don't need to add anything else to it so you could just roll up the nice little balls I've already added salt to it I'm just going to add some freshly ground pepper not some lots of it so now because I'm not making a vegetarian so I'm going to add the rest of our mince we made earlier with diced pork and it's going to make it Juicy stuffing and delicious too. So, our vegetables have been 
onions and watercress has been sorted it's quite hot at the moment i'm mixing it with raw sausage meat we made earlier then we will make our stuffings so if you wanted to keep it vegetarian you could just minus the meat and mix a bit more breadcrumbs and make vegetarian stuffings first one and you can also do this in ahead of time stick them in the freezer night before just take them out and place them in the fridge and you don't have to work crazy like before Christmas obviously it's Christmas for you too you don't have to work yourself silly so all of these things can be prepared ahead of time the only thing you need to do on Christmas morning is have your toast I showed you in my last video and place your turkey in the oven and just before lunch have uh, roast your vegetables and even potatoes and vegetables you can part boil them and keep them in the fridge ready in a tin so in the morning when you wake up do your turkey and then stick your potatoes in in the meanwhile just have champagne or whatever you fancy and enjoy your day you don't have to work you have to work smarter not harder so prepare all these things before I usually do all of this before about 24th I do that one year I was working right up till Christmas and I asked my family to help me and they were very good they did help me but I think they forgot to do pigs in blanket so when I came to cook on the 25th I looked at the food and I thought there's no pigs in blanket so I said to my family that's right no pigs in blanket this year for Christmas and I have never ever seen them move so fast they quickly got up and the pigs and blankets were on the plate <laughs> I find it really funny so we go, I'm going to show you in a minute how to do pigs and blankets too okay so our stuffings are all done there's another idea you what you can do with the stuffing I will show you and then after that I'm going to cover pigs and blankets and that has another twist to it as well still we have streaky bacon but you can also cover the stuffing in bacon too so that's another style of doing your stuffing so you can do them that way or just leave them as they are and then with the sausages I have Italian chicken chorizo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist them and they become mini sausages there we have it you don't have to really go out and look for mini sausages just get yourself chipolatas but I've got chicken chipolatas and here we have our pigs in blanket again pinch in the middle twist it and you have mini sausages so now I'm going to show you how to make your own gravy. So we have neck from the turkey and I will bring some chicken wings and we will make some marinade and mix it nicely and that will make a nice stock. Okay, so we are ready for our gravy. To make a nice thick juicy gravy, we need some bay leaves, some thyme and I'll get some carrots and onion. So we've done our pigs and blanket. We've done our stuffing, so now to make gravy. I'm going to use the neck from the turkey and I'm going to use wings, chicken wings and we are going to air fry them on 180C it doesn't have to be on a very high full heat but I think that should be enough but if you're doing it on the Christmas day and you have lots of people the whole packet will do then we have three bay leaves I'm gonna just tear them Then we have one medium onion that goes on top. We have five cloves of garlic, just scatter them around. Then we have some carrots, we will scatter those around as well, gives you a nice sweet flavor. Then lots of thyme right on top. Salt, pepper. So now I'm going to roast them for about 30 minutes in air fryer on 180C. So while 
Our wings are roasting. Turkey is roasting. I'm going to prep some vegetables to roast as well. So when we have an hour left to our turkey, we will put our uh, pigs and blankets and stuffing and our roasting vegetables in the oven. So when everything comes out nice and hot, we can serve it all together. So now we're going to roast some vegetables. So I've peeled four potatoes, two big parsnips, four carrots, and there's a few sprouts here and spring greens. So I'm going to literally just steam them and the uh, uh, sprouts but these I'm going to boil in the salty water and then I'll put them in a hot oil and roast them and that would be amazing so I'll show you how it's done I'm going to show you how to make bread sauce which goes beautifully with the turkey so I have 150 ml milk in here full fat to that I'm going to add two small pieces of onion which is a medium onion and then in that I've got 10 cloves so that will boil away one bay leaf fresh and a sprig of um, thyme then I'm going to grate a little bit of nutmeg in there you can grate it or you can just do it with a knife okay so to that the cloves the bay leaves the nutmeg the milk thyme to that I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt two big cloves of garlic and then four spoons of cream cheese and I'm going to bring it all to the boil and I'm going to have also black pepper corn so we air fried our wings and our turkey neck so they all cook so nicely I cooked them for about 30-35 minutes in the air fryer so they're looking amazing carrots are done so what I'm going to do is bash them up a little bit and then I'm going to boil them our garlic is in there as well and then the juices that come out of that will be our stock for the gravy we you serve on our turkey and I will show you how our turkey gravy is done so some juices will collect from our turkey and some juices will use from here. So I've mashed up our wings, onions and garlic and carrots. I'm going to add boiling water to it to take the stock out of it for our gravy. Some of the gravy we will collect from our turkey juices. So then we will add it all up and we'll make our roux by frying up some butter and some flour. I've got one tablespoon of flour so I will show you how the gravy is done. Let me just do the stock. So our milk has been boiling with all the cloves and onion and garlic and everything in it. So that's really nicely done with the cheese as well. So I'm going to fry these breadcrumbs with butter and add that milk to it and that will make our bread sauce. So let me show you how the bread sauce is made. So our vegetables are boiling nicely. Our stock, chicken stock is coming along lovely as well. That is going to make a really tasty gravy. So all of these things, you don't have to do them on the day. You can do them day before or a couple of days before Christmas, get it all ready. And in the, this sauce can be made even month in advance. So our butter has been melting. To that, I'm going to add 100 grams of breadcrumbs. Our milk is getting cooked very nicely as well with the cream cheese and all the ingredients in there.
normally I would fry for my normal roast, I would fry the mushrooms. But because we have butter in the room, we have oils and butters from the turkey. So we don't really need to fry them, we'll just cook them in there. Just going to add a little bit of marmite to give it a color. So we haven't added any extra salt to it. Marmite is salty. There's one secret ingredient which I will add in a minute. Okay, so our gravy is coming along really nicely. The mushrooms are in there floating about. They look beautiful. So now, to make a Christmas absolute perfect gravy, I'm going to add a drop of brandy. It won't be Christmas without brandy, would it? Then, a drop of double cream. Gravy. That's like Christmas in a pan. You don't need nothing else. Perfect, rich, thick gravy. So I'm going to heat it a little bit more to evaporate the alcohol a little bit, not always. Our vegetables are just about coming together as well, so we're going to start roasting them as well. So we have our herbs in the olive oil. And we're going to cook some vegetables. And now, the oven. It has to be a very hot oven on a full heat. In the meanwhile, we'll boil our sprouts. This is our Christmas dinner from Cat's Kitchen. We roasted the turkey with stuffing. I showed you how we did it. So then the bacon was roasted. We've taken it off. And halfway through, we had to cover the legs with foil because legs were starting to cook a bit too much. And then we basted it all the way through. Um, and then last 25 minutes, we roasted it without foil. Then on the other side, we did roast potato, parsnip, carrots, garlic, and some herbs in olive oil. Uh, Pot boiled them first, then roasted them on a very hot oven. Then we made uh, bread sauce, which I showed you how we done it. Then this is shop bought. Then we did the gravy with the chicken stock we made. And then um, stuffing and pigs and blankets. And the sprouts, we only boil them. And the spring greens, we only steam them shortly. So let's carve the turkey and see how it looks. juicy so you see the trick to make a juicy turkey is to leave it in a bath overnight I showed you the bath I made in a big pot with juice orange juice lemon juice uh, star anise cloves black peppercorns um, tangerine and fresh lemon and then leave it overnight and then just dry it just like you dry somebody with a towel. So we dried it with the towel and kitchen towel. Then we marinated it and then roasted it for two hours, 25 minutes. So it's come out really perfect and you can still see the juices coming out. And then we'll just add some vegetables. Sounding so crunchy, you can hear the noise. Perfect. I hope you can hear this noise of the vegetables. So crunchy and beautiful. So that's my perfect plate of Christmas dinner. I'm going to serve a little bit of bread sauce, a little bit of cranberry sauce, and then horseradish, and then pour our gravy. showing you how to do it in advance so it saves up all the hassle saves up all the hard work so please pre-prepare and on the day all you have to do is vegetables and turkey 
So Merry Christmas from Cat's Kitchen. Until next time.